everyone welcome back so it's been a while since I made a video that's because I've been uh, as you can see I'm in a different room the filming room that I was in is being renovated uh, we're taking out the carpets and putting hardwood floor down so a lot of stuff I had to move out so I didn't get a chance to make any videos so Android 15 has been released for almost a month now I'm going to quickly go over a couple features that I like from the 15 release. And uh, yesterday, recently, uh, Google pushed out the November update. So let me talk about a couple of those things and uh, let's get into it. All right, so uh, the Android 15. So there are a lot of many tweaks and uh, minor updates, uh, UI elements that are a little bit different. Uh, I'm not gonna go over all that just because it's been out for a month already. I'm pretty sure you, you already uh, gone over that. But the two features that I really like about Android 15, app pairs. So this is a feature that is great on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. Uh, but also works well on regular Pixel phones as well. So uh, what it does is uh, you could choose two different apps, put them on split screens and save them so that when you tap the icon on your desktop, it will automatically launch both of these apps automatically. Now this is a feature that Samsung had for a while now. Um, so when I had a Samsung for many years ago, I was able to save the two apps that I normally use that's uh, stacked top top and bottom so I could quickly tap on that and it launches both at the same time so so this is a feature that is uh, long awaited for it so um, so I'm glad that it's finally here for the second feature from Android 15 that I really like is the archive feature so uh, what this does is if you have a lot of apps that you don't use but there's you know a, a lot of information within the app that's saved you could archive it so when you archive it it basically deletes the app uh, so it allows you to save space on your phone uh, but when you want to re-download it and or reuse the app your information will be saved so uh, let me show you how that works all right so i'm just going to quickly show you the archive feature so um, I have my McDonald's app uh, open. As you can see, I have 4,700 points. Um, so I am logged in. So what I'm gonna do as well, I'm just gonna show you my settings, my storage. So right now I have 143 gigabytes used on my phone. Uh, I'm just gonna go back to the McDonald's app. Uh, if I swipe up, press and hold the McDonald's icon on the top, click on app info. Uh, as you can see here, there is an uh, icon now called Archive. So you're going to tap Archive. Now this is going to uninstall the app itself, but it's going to retain all your information. So when you restore, it's going to it's going to allow you to uh, you don't have to uh, log in again. So if I click on here, as you can see, uh, now my uh, storage is now 142 gigabytes. So it saved some space um, just by archiving this app. Now, if I go back to the app itself, um, you can hit restore. If you even go back to the actual icon, as you can see here uh, under my food folder, um, you can see that uh, there's a cloud with a download uh, icon. So that means it's archived, um, but if I want to re-download it, I could just tap on it and it's now downloading the app again. So I'll wait for that to finish. And uh, once that's finished, I'll show you that I'm still logged in. So installing now and it's done so I'm going to tap on that and then as you can see here you'll still see that I still have 4741 points so I'm still logged in it retained my information now if I go back into the settings and click on storage now it's back to 143 gigabytes so that's the archive feature so I really like this if you have a lot of apps you don't use uh, it's gonna save you quite a bit of uh, uh, space so yeah, hopefully you like this feature. So for the November update that was released yesterday, you could get this right now over the air. Uh, if you go into the settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you click on system, and uh, click on software updates, you could check for the system update and you should be able to get it uh, right away. Now you might have a couple day delay, uh, depending on your carrier, um, but if you got it from Google Store directly, you should be able to get 
the update over the air right now. So the November update is for the Pixel 6 and above. So if you have a 6, 6 Pro, 7, 7 Pro, 8, 8 Pro, and of course one of the 9 series as well, uh, you, these are the things that's included. So you got some fixes for Bluetooth, uh, which is fixed for issue with Bluetooth range under certain conditions. I've never had an issue with Bluetooth, so I won't be able to uh, take advantage of that. Uh, camera, fixed for issue observing camera tilt when zooming between cameras under certain conditions. And I've never had issues with the camera as well. Display and graphics, fixed for issue causing white dots to flash under certain conditions and screen brightness flickering under certain conditions. So um, again, I've never, I haven't had any issues. So uh, sensors fixed for issue occasionally preventing adaptive brightness from activating in certain conditions. You got the touch issue that's been fixed for pressing the keyboard. Um, dismiss button in certain conditions. And user inter interface general improvements for performance and stability in certain UI transitions and animations. So I'm looking forward to do the update and see how that goes. Now, and a couple features uh, that I'm looking forward to. Now, there was a feature that was supposed to be released in one of the betas. There was a feature called the battery limit functionality. So what that does is when you plug in your phone, it charges up to 80% and it stops. So this saves you your battery life over the long run. Samsung has had this for a while currently. You can sort of do it by using the adaptive battery function. So when you turn that on, when you plug it in at night, as long as you have an alarm set up in the morning, then basically it charges up to 80% and then it will stop charging until about two hours before your alarm. So that will, so it'll charge up to 80%. And that's when it starts charging it slowly back up to 100%. But the feature that I'm looking for this upcoming update is the battery limit. So you don't have to worry about going over 100%. I could just freely plug it in and I don't have to worry about going over 80%. So this saves you a lot of the battery life uh, over the long run. Now it is recommended to still top up to 100% once a week, but for the rest of the time, you could just top up to 80%. So, um, I'm just going to do the update and uh, we'll see if it's there. All right, so I just finished the update on my Pixel 9 Pro XL. Uh, unfortunately, the battery limit feature is not there. Uh, so we'll have to wait for next month's December update, despite what uh, the report says online. Um, but uh, if it comes sooner before the December update, that's uh, that's great for me. Uh, but uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, yeah, so let me know in the comment section below what you think, uh, whether it's the Android 15 uh, features, uh, what's your favorite feature of that, or have you had any issues that was fixed in the uh, November update? Let me know as well. Uh, as for me personally, none of the fixes that were listed I've never had any issues with to begin with. So for me, the update wasn't really a big update to me, but uh, we'll look forward to the next one. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you have any questions or anything like that, uh, again, uh, leave in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, cheers.